Time now for complete local sports coverage on Q2, Montana's news station. That's right. Hello, everybody. Time for sports. At 2.20 this afternoon, a few thousand fans were waiting for that first spark in today's Mustangs-Osprey game, and they got it at 2.21. Not much happened to Dealer through the first four innings. Top three, Osprey with the bases loaded. That would be a theme today, by the way. Joey Armstrong bounces into the 6-4-3 double play. But Cal Simmons does come in to score on the play to make it a 2-0 game. Now, bottom three, Stangs get one back. First round pick Tyler Stevenson not playing, but backup catcher Mitch Trees sends one deep to left and gone. Ponies cut the deficit to 2-1. So we go to the top of the fifth. Osprey with the bases loaded again and two outs. Marcus Wilson puts a charge into one. Stang center fielder Zach Shields on the run to the wall. Leaps, bobbles, but somehow makes the catch with his bare hand. Take another look. The Osprey were arguing that the ball hit the railing, but it hit Shields' glove twice. Pops up. Shields gets his left hand on it once, then catches it on the second bounce with his right to rob Wilson of a grand slam. Absolutely incredible concentration. Now the Mustangs would tie the game at two, so we go top eight now. Osprey with, you guessed it, the base is loaded. Didimo Bracco ropes one to left. It's not caught. Hits the top of the wall. Karam's back down the line. Now two runs come in, but keep watching. Kevin Garcia fires home to Trees, who appears to sag Zach Hofpour, but the ump says he's not out, but he never touched home. So Trees goes after him. Hofpour using Mustangs pitcher Juan Martinez as a shield. Trees eventually gets him. Total chaos. But the damage was done. Osprey win a wild ball game, 5-2, but it'll be Zach Shields' effort that everyone remembers on this day.